Welcome, graduates, family and friends, to your online celebration. A moment to take stock of and appreciate your accomplishments and formally recognise you all as graduates of the University of Southampton. You have completed your course at a time like no other. Your resilience, perseverance and dedication have been truly tested. Time at university has always been a life-changing experience, but it's been even more so during the last year. You've needed to be self-sufficient, strong and courageous, with a good sense of humour at times too. From my grand old age, living through other crises, I can tell you that things will get better. You have learned skills that will help you throughout your life as you follow your ambitions and your dreams. You leave us with your qualifications, friendships and memories. And you've also gained experience and fortitude to face future challenges, whether they be within your career, further studies or in your personal lives. You will now become alumni of one of the top 100 universities in the world. We hope you are proud to be graduating from the Faculty of Medicine. We are certainly proud of you. Since the pandemic started, the medical world has been challenged and depended upon like never before. We know many of you have been working exceptionally hard, contributing to the efforts to take care of and protect our communities, adapting to new ever-changing obstacles and working on the front line. We are confident that you will be top level graduates and know that the world is safer with you working at the helm of healthcare and medicine. We appreciate all you have done so far at this early stage of your career and all you will go on to do. And we know you will go on to achieve your dreams, both big and small. Whatever you do and wherever you go, you will be making the world a better place, offering what you can offer in your own wonderfully unique way. Despite the uncertainties that we face and the work that we will need to do to restore ourselves after this pandemic ends, the world is still waiting for you. New opportunities always arise out of change and we, your university, wish you every future success. Hello. Today we are celebrating the remarkable achievements of you, our graduates. We at the University are all very proud of you, just as I'm sure you, your family, friends and other supporters are. Graduating from one of the UK's very best universities, well within the World Top 100, is no mean feat. This will have required an immense amount of hard work, dedication and resilience to get you to this point today. While we are all here to celebrate, the same achievement of graduating with a Southampton degree, your individual experience of university will have been completely unique. Your studies may have allowed you to achieve levels of research and knowledge that you could have only dreamed of when you started your first year. You may have made a range of new friendships that have allowed you to better understand the world, or you may have taken advantage of all of the opportunities of clubs, skills developments and volunteering. This will have provided new skills and experience, for example, trying your hand in the world of enterprise or dedicating your time to helping others. The global, inclusive, open nature of universities such as Southampton should have exposed you to a range of new thinking and views. I am sure you will be leaving us a very different person to the one which joined us. This is a time of your lives all about growth, adaptation, development and finding out who you truly are. I very much hope you have found out a lot about yourself and the world, as well as hopefully enjoying yourself. You are at the cusp of further change in your life, while the world has also been changing dramatically around you. The next stage of your life is beginning in extraordinary and uncertain, yet now more hopeful circumstances. The impact of the global events that have spanned the past year must not overshadow your great achievements. In fact, the whole way our community reacted and coped with the global pandemic was truly inspiring. The contribution of research intensive university society has been well demonstrated throughout the pandemic. Southampton as a university was no different, with a range of fantastic projects. To highlight one, the saliva testing programme was a national pathfinder. It was the most extensive testing programme of any university. You'll have had to cope with changes and things you never expected to. 
I have been continually amazed by your resilience, creativity and drive, especially when faced with the recent challenges that you've had to deal with. I hope you are now looking forward to the future with optimism and determination, even though uncertainty still exists. I want to thank you all for your fortitude and going above and beyond in helping us as a community deal with the pandemic. The friends you have made, the knowledge and skills you have worked so hard to acquire, and the memories you hold dear will be with you for the rest of your lives, as will your connection with us. You are joining a new family today as a Southampton alumnus. We will be here for you, so please stay in touch with us. I hope you will hold your time here very close to your heart as you embark on your next adventure. As much as I trust that Southampton has left its mark on your life, I know without doubt that you will have left your mark on our community. My heartfelt congratulations to you all again. I wish you every success for your future. Hello, I'm Professor Diana Eccles, Dean of the Faculty of Medicine. It is a pleasure to be here to offer my warmest congratulations to you all, our new graduates. This is the beginning of the next phase of your life. We're confident that you have acquired the skills and knowledge that, that you'll need to deliver excellent clinical care, to develop and lead innovative healthcare systems and translate research findings to improve the health of our global community. We are immensely proud of you for all that you have achieved so far and hope you have taken the time to sit back and appreciate what you've accomplished. Your final year has not been easy and I know that this is not the graduation that any of us were hoping for this year. Throughout this unprecedented period of time, we've seen a major and lasting impact on healthcare. But the challenges of a global pandemic bring home the reasons that you all came to study medicine and have also demonstrated the importance and impact of medical research on solving global health problems. Southampton has played an exceptional role in tackling the challenges of the pandemic, as you will all have seen during your time here. I hope you'll feel proud to have been a part of that endeavour. Nothing about this past year has been as expected when you began your medical studies here. But among the many uncertainties we all face, lies the certainty that you will go on to make your mark and be successful in your future careers. It's impossible for anyone to know everything. Recognise what you don't know and be ready to seek advice and mentorship from those with more experience. That way you'll continue to learn and grow through reflective practice. Accept that you are amazing. Expect that you will experience anxiety in undertaking new duties and remember that lifelong learning is something to embrace and enjoy. You're now co connected with Southampton for life and I hope you will stay in touch with us as a member of our alumni community. What you've learned here will always be a part of your story and I hope the next chapter will be just as exciting. Thank you for your hard work and valued contribution to our university and our NHS community over the past years. We are continually inspired by the people our students become and you are no exception. Congratulations. My name is Dr Ashley Pringle. I'm the Director of the Faculty Graduate School in Medicine. Pro-Chancellor, I present to you the candidates from Medicine and I ask that you admit them to their awards. I now present the graduates from the Department of Clinical and Experimental Sciences for the award of Master of Science. Hilda Maria Avsivanich Soberanis. I now present the graduates from the Department of Human Development and Health for the award of Master of Science. Reem Ashkenani. Maria Anna Garnica Ortega. Sith Dara Saya. Oi Ling Tang. Amal Muhim. Al Muhim, Suradeep Das, Magdalena Karalak, Fiana Jahan Asha, Connie Marie Ball, Jacob Vice, Olatundan Yatundi Gafari, Inez Buzala, Katie. Johanna Michelle Cook, Ayamidi Bogo Uluwaki Ogunyemi, 
I now present the graduates from the Department of Clinical and Experimental Sciences for the award of Doctor of Philosophy, Rafif Yusuf Al-Yami, Hannah Burke. I now present the graduates from the Department of Human Development and Health for the award of Doctor of Philosophy, Anvisha Mahendra, Helena Lucy Fisk, Sarah Ferry. Hello, uh, my name is uh, Dr. Ben Chadwick. I'm an acute medicine consultant at Southampton General Hospital, um, and I'm also the program dean for the BM4 Graduate Entry in Medicine program. And it's my great honour to present the graduates from the Faculty of Medicine for the award of the Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery. Timothy Atkins. Maria Bailey. Leonora Rose Bartlett. Rosie Edgeley. Julian Charles Holland Flint Khan. Amina Katoum. Lucia Lazareshi, Callum Phillips, Thomas Pugh, Lucy Mia Rippington, Alex Rosser, Christopher Smith, Fola Sholanke, Laura Elizabeth Starr. Laura Mary Tian, Charlotte Thomas, Matthew Austin James Wade, Peter Warren, Rachel West, Hayley Williams, Ruyang Yan. I'm Dr. Deborah Rose. I'm the programme lead for BM5. I present to you the following for Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery. Christopher R. Yoon. Catherine Anderson. Jessica Appleby. Regina Maruf Askari. Sophia Barron. Mary Beth Bartlett Searle. Ellen Rose Bodger. Catherine Eleanor Brammer, Scott Campbell, Elspeth Catherine Jean Chambers, Bianca Danube Sewan Chua, Ellen Cornish, Maria Veronica Dervis, Pavline Cor Deadly, Alan Doughty. Amy Kate Drinkwater, George Alexander Dyke, Emma Dyson, Katie Evans, Oliver Finlon, Alexander Foster, Kirsty Elizabeth Foster, William Freak. Danielle Grace Fung, Chloe Galides, Hisham Gabra, Elizabeth Gilbert, Danielle Damalia Hart, Esther Hawkes, David Hendry, Matthew Hewton. Annabelle Hook, Rayan Nasir Jamal, Rachel Anna Jeffcock, Naomi Gerard, Philip Johnson, Hannah Louise Amy Jones, Megan Diane Jones, Tessel Aneo Kolk. Ivy Ying Kuo, Octavia Rachel Kern, 
Vineeth Reddy Lakala, Bethany Lisher, Yi Tin Lit, Connor McMillan, Sumeya Manji, Harry Manning, Anusha Marasini, Rachel Elizabeth MacArthur, Samuel McEwen, Bethany May McShay, Nihal Mera, Rafia Meyer, Lauren Miles, Avneet Minhas, Isabel Eleanor Mitchell, Elliot Miles Stephen Morris, Kiana Mostakimi, Christopher Newbury, Hugh N. Jewel Ng, Franco Xing Fun Ngan, Uyosa Ogunbor, Emma Louise Owens, Thomas Parry, Mary Louise Bowen Perkins, Charlotte Jia Ying Foon, Bilal Rashid, Fion Mithanwi Ridgeway, Callum James Gray Robbins, Sami Ibrahim Said, Faiza Saif, Mathusha Sakthik Parkan, Tunde Salawu, Imogen Alice Sewell, Alice Maud Spur, Anne Lee Stephen, Timothy John Stevenson, Samuel Howe Ern Tan, Esther Gabriella Thomas, Heather Lynn Toff, Emily Tumalti, Rebecca Jacqueline Minette Tunstall, Elizabeth Vogel, Megan Olivia Warrington, Caroline Rachel Welford, Amelia Xanthi Charlotte Whitaker, Amy Marie Willits, Daniel Joseph Williams, Stefan Le Williams, Charlotte Woodward, Hannah Z. N. Yell, Aaron Kai Wai Young, Danielle Hakim Bin Roslan, Manikanta Ajay Krishna Kasina, Kai Chiko. Sarah I. Y. Lee, Corrine Kwai Ling So, Asian Kok Fu Tsaya, Yavisha Vijaya Kumar. I present to you the following Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery with Integrated Masters in Medical Science Joshua Adigoki, Quinlan Kolade Adejoju. Peter Barron, Thomas Branch, Lucy Burford, Simran Chugani, Miles Richard James Frost, Emily Megan Hall, Ben Samuel Jenkins, Bridgel Maria Joseph. Reese Richards, Alistair Robson, Christian Llewellyn Thomas, Kate Francis Wolford. My name is Professor Sally Curtis. I am Deputy Head of School Education for the Faculty of Medicine and former BM6 Programme Lead. I am absolutely delighted to present to you the following for the award of Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery. Hanad Ahmed. 
Rowan Mohammed Nazir Al Umari, Walid Ali, Marie Louise Avis, Nahida Begum, Sarah El Sudani, Noor Gazmelzid, Daniel Gosh, Ali Hakizamana, Jeremy Hawazi, Danielle Khan, Fatima Mahamud, Ayman Maksud, Issa Mohammed, Mohammed Patel, Amber Seely, Stephen Stewart, Anissa Marie Torchi, Natalie Zolfagari. Hello, I'm Dr. Claire Pollack. I'm the programme leader for the BMEU. I present to you the following Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery. Hannah Anweiler. Ria Behrens. Robert Maximilian Blach. Vincent Bursch. Hannah Brookman. Antonia Klass. Miriam Eva Ecker. Anna Gandorfer. Nora Groover. Anna Marie Camp. Lara Francisca Kuhlein. Jessica Kotlerevskaya. Hannah Kress. Charlotte Louisa Kugelheising. Sina Tabea Luba. Philip Maul. Cleo Maleski. Elika Marlin Menka. Katja Pagida Muller. Simona Penka. Anastasia Pogohodnaya. Benjamin Wright. Jonathan Reisner. Tabea Stock. Sophie Louisa Tesna. Ahmed Yasha. Ikra Zaya Zaidi. My name is Jane Wilkinson, Associate Dean for Education. Congratulations to all of you who have made it through in such difficult times. You've risen to the challenge and I have no doubt that the profession is in very safe hands for the future. Some of your colleagues will now read the declaration of a new doctor written by a former graduate of Southampton Medical School. Thank you to all those students who volunteered to do the reading. Please feel free to stand and read the declaration with them at home as you would if we were all together at the ceremony. Today, I graduate from the University of Southampton. I declare to uphold my duties as a doctor to you. I shall make the care and safety of patients my priority. I shall do my utmost to protect your health, rights and dignity. I shall heed your concerns and respect your decisions on your care and treatment. I recognise that medicine is also an art. I will treat you as an individual with compassion, courage and integrity. Discrimination and abuse will not be welcome in my practice. Not against my patients, not against my colleagues. I shall keep my knowledge up to date. I shall acknowledge my mistakes. Address them and learn from them. I will recognise the limits of my competence. Seek help and work together with colleagues to best serve my patients. I shall be prepared to justify my actions, my decisions, and take responsibility for all I do. Honesty and integrity will be my way to earn your trust. It shall be a privilege, an honour, to work for you, and with you, and with each other, to care for your health and well-being. Today I make this declaration 
to fulfill the duties of a doctor to you and to myself. Hi. Listen, I'm I'm sure you've spent your last three or four years working toward this moment and um, years and years of slogging away and cramming for those exams and frazzling your little brains out in the process. Um, but can I just say the war is over, okay? You can come out and breathe the air. It's free. You're free again for now. All right, I don't want to distress you though. But let me just say, before you start thinking of what's the next thing, which I know we humans have a propensity for, what's next? Um, let me just say that that is really no way to live the rest of your life chasing from one thing after another. Because eventually, eventually you'll forget you were chasing and it just becomes a habit and you go from one thing to the next to the next and it becomes an addiction like anything else and not too good for your health. And eventually you'll just need higher and higher doses just to feel normal. And then you'll never feel satisfied because you're caught in this kind of craving, this endless craving, and that lies away toward unhappiness. So at some point, it's going to be necessary to gain some insight, all right, to connect with who you really are and what you really want, what would give you satisfaction, and not just keep up with what the next person is doing or social media tells you what they're doing, which probably they're lying about. You know, everybody wants what the next person has and the next person wants what the next person has. Again, we can get into that kind of syndrome. But, you know, inside is figuring out what do you really want, okay? Not jo what job you want or how much money you want to make, but, you know, something a lot deeper. I mean, the culture, as I said, doesn't encourage that kind of thinking. It's more about doggy dog. Though, really, I've never met a dog who ate another dog, but I don't know where that came from. You know, we're meant to believe that high achievers come in first. You know, the, Darwin said uh, survival of the fittest. And so we met, we imagine these tough people at the top, you know, kind of grinding their teeth and going for the gold. But actually what Darwin meant was not the toughest. He meant the fittest are the people that cooperate the best, that work the best as a team. That's what he really meant. And then the industrialists came along and reinterpreted it so they could justify their greed. But... I think Darwin was, well, he was on the right path. So the best thing is humans are at their best when they're doing teamwork, when you're working for the next person, okay? That's when we, when we bond, when we work for the next person, that's when we're happiest. And compassion is the glue. So we do need that insight, you know, understand what we really want, who we really are underneath the habits of thinking. Do you know what I mean? Let me just, this is another, Thing that'll make you happy to understand those thoughts are just old recordings and I have them too you know I'm not good enough I'm gonna be a failure what if everybody catches who I really am these are just old recordings eventually you have to learn they're not facts okay but if you believe you're not good enough the brain will actually uh, physiologically cement in that formation but if you believe that everything is possible everything becomes possible and another thing is, you know, we do as humans think in the past and the future. You know, that's what we have over animals is we can plan for the future depending on what we did in the past. But if that becomes a habit, you don't live in the present anymore. And that is another thing that makes the journey worthwhile. You know, that's why you slave for everything in your life so that you can taste it or see it or experience it right in the moment. You know, you don't want to hear a concert yesterday or tomorrow. You want to be there right now. I think the expression is if you ask somebody what the best time in their life is and they say now, then they've arrived. So again, insight and learning how to be present sometimes is the greatest skill and you don't need to get a degree in that, but you do have to study it and practice it because humans, you know, we have this, as I said, this propensity for future thinking, past thinking, and just following what the next guy does. But if you really learn to maybe focus, stop a few times a day, you know, you have to achieve. We have to use a little bit of stress, but otherwise we just get stressed about stress, which is what the word frazzled means, stressed about stress. We start thinking, oh my God, nobody else is as stressed. I shouldn't be this stressed, blah, blah, blah. This is, we sabotage ourselves with our own thinking. But if you stop for a few minutes and think, what's going on in me right now? What am I feeling? Well, you could do it right now. 
What's the weather temperature inside your body? Are you happy? Are you tired? Are you sad? If you stop and kind of focus inside, it slows you down enough so that you can focus what's around you and actually get surround sound and hear what's out there. You know, enjoy your holiday rather than thinking of what you have to do next. So I hope when you go into the next stage of your life, you're focusing a little more about what really interests you, no matter what anybody else tells you. You know, I know it's tantalizing to follow the crowd, but stick to your guns. We really need to learn to cool our engines. Otherwise, it's like a car that's out of petrol. You know, what's right for you? Where is your tipping point? Really, otherwise, it's you're emptying your, your tank, and then you're just grinding your wheels like a car that's caught in mud. It just sinks deeper and deeper. So congratulations to the class of 2021. I can't wait to see where you all go on to, but promise me you'll try to be more present and you'll be true to yourselves. Okay? And that way lies happiness. And that's all that's worth it. Okay, thanks very much. Congratulations on gaining your degree. Everything is paid off and you deserve to celebrate all that you have achieved. When you first started your Southampton journey, it was probably a lot for you. Just another step in your education. I know that was my experience. But the more you spend time at university, the more you realise that it's about as much about the community and the people you meet as it is about what you learn, your grades and your successes. You'll be marking this moment alongside the people you've bonded, connected and collaborated with over the last few years. You'll be reflecting on the friendships and memories you've made, the nights that you've been on and the adventures you've faced together. This step, this moment when you leave as a community after so long is intimidating but you're all stepping outside the supportive community and into the unknown together. We've seen this last year how important it is to have a network of support. Loneliness is an epidemic and social distancing hasn't just been about staying physically separate. It's only natural to, be want, to, to want to be a part of something bigger. It's human to want to be with and connect with others. The great news is when you graduate from Southampton and move on to whatever is waiting for you, you're still a part of the community that continue to support you as you wake your way into the world. As soon as you gain your degree, you're a part of the university's alumni community, joining thousands of other Southampton graduates worldwide who are changing lives, making a difference and achieving remarkable things, all connected by their unique Southampton stories. As a fellow member of the university alumni community, I urge you to stay in touch, share your progress, celebrate your milestones with us and reach out. While you're all going your individual ways, you will never be too far away from another Southampton graduate, or indeed another graduate who has just finished their degree in the most unusual, unpre unpredictable and unyielding of times. Wherever you go in the world and whatever you do, we'll be right beside you, as will the lifelong friends you've made during your time as a student here at Southampton. Welcome to the next exciting stage of life. I want to wish you the very best for your future, whatever it holds for you as a University of Southampton graduate. Today, we celebrate with all of you. You have achieved a great deal and I know you'll accomplish even more in the future. We are proud of you and you should be so proud of yourselves. And now, I would like to formally admit you to your award in absentia. This means you are no longer a graduate but a graduate of the University of Southampton. We wish you every future success. And of course, we hope at some point to welcome you to celebrate your success in person on the campus. I certainly look forward to that day. Graduates, many congratulations to you all. Well done.